Hello, my name is Jacob Adams. I'm a fitness and leadership coach. Have you ever been driving along and wondered how it is that you're gonna get from point A to point B in your career path? In other words, you may be a teacher, you might be a janitor, you might be a doctor, you might be an artist, it doesn't matter what you are. And you wonder how are you gonna actually expand, scale, or go to that next level of fulfillment. You may have already achieved a certain level of success, but you wonder how it is that you're actually going to grow into the next level because you understand that you can keep going right exactly where you're at and sustain life or even maybe eat, unfortunately even maybe go backwards because your, your heart is not necessarily right where you need to be because you know there's more to where it is that you actually belong. I know I have. The other day, I was driving along, just like I said, and I was listening to Grant Cardone's Be Obsessed or Be Average, Uncle G, right, for those of us that are into his stuff. And he said that he likes to take a piece of paper, he took out a piece of paper, and on one side he put professional, and on the other side he put personal, and he put himself right in the middle. And, you know, he started talking about how sometimes we equate that money is so valuable, but when in reality, it's us, we're the valuable asset, and we have the assets within ourselves. And as you hear that, it makes complete sense, but if you never take the time to know what we're, you're about, then it's safe to say that you may find yourself in that rut, sort of trying to reach out. And it's funny enough that Cherry Huber, this monk, uh, this Zen Buddhist, said that this Zen monk, she said that you can never obtain what you don't already have. You can only expand what's already within you. And it's very funny, two seemingly opposing viewpoints agreeing on at the core level of exactly what it is that uh, is what creates any kind of value. Uh, my, name, my name is Jacob Adams. I'm a fitness and leadership coach. And as I said, I'm the creator of Common Sense Self Mastery. I may have forgotten to introduce myself. I don't know. In any case, yeah, so that's how we, you, we go, right? We find ourselves in this sort of space where we wonder how exactly it is that we're going to grow to the next level. And well, in any case, you know, that's what I did. I actually wrote down exactly what I'm about. Now, I've done this in many different times and in many different ways for many different reasons, but I like that Grant Cardone himself is the one that said to go ahead and take out a piece of paper and have two columns and to go ahead and write down what it is that is a professional and etc. Now, when I did that, here they are. Uh, for example, for my professional life, I put uh, on my professional half here, I've trained since 2003. I've trained clients since 2003. I've trained trainers to be trainers. In other words, I've helped two classes of people, two different groups of 20 people or so get their certifications. So I've actually helped trainers to become trainers. I started Evolution Training Department uh, back in 2011. And I started with just a suitcase. I, went, I came down from Houston, Texas to the, the 956 area code. And I came down with just a suitcase, my alarm clock, uh, some paperwork that I put together and, and started hiring and putting together the program. Um, I started to advocate. I, went, I was pulled into an office, those of you that have heard my story, and I started from zero dollars in sales to now a company that produces several thousands of dollars in sales every year. Uh, I've written a book, uh, my, Your Divine Romance, Bold Action, Meditation, and Pure Love. I finished my college and my business degree uh, for, and I was, I'm the first generation of my family for my mom and dad to do that. I'm a first generation college graduate. I've led thousands of fitness class, classes, 500 yoga classes, and Lord only knows how many, maybe like 7,000 spinning classes, uh, thousands of CrossFit classes. Uh, I've started a real estate company and gotten to real estate investing on the small scale. Uh, I've maintained solid relationships with my clients for the, over the long term. I've taught uh, in a classroom setting, ages kinder, all the way to high school. I've, start, I've studied marketing online for Facebook ads. I've created an online course. I've started a YouTube channel. Uh, and those are some of my professional highlights, right? On my, prefer, my personal life, I've had friends for over 20 years. 
I love my family deeply and they are part of the reason I keep pushing along sometimes. I've gone to some of the best concerts ranging from Eminem to Beyonce to Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett, Lady Gaga. Uh, I've seen rock shows from everything from Slipknot to uh, Mudvayne to you, you name it, uh, Nine Inch Nails. Uh, I, I know how to play guitar and I've moved to nice cities and traveled, seen exotic locations like Miami, South Beach, Vegas, Hawaii, etc. And I've had long-term and short-term relationships that have really uh, meant a lot to me, helped me grow as a person and also uh, overcome some intense breakups. I've, studied a I've started a meditation practice that has helped me get anchored into my spiritual path. And so those are some of my wins in life and also the things that compose my career and what I'm about. That's, those are my assets of sorts. And sometimes if you don't take the inventory of who it is that you are and what you're capable of, I mean, you know, really at this stage in my life, I'm not looking to create differences as much as expand what's already on that paper. And sometimes it takes a moment to go ahead and write them down, just like I just showed you in order to Take an inventory of your assets. If you don't put your, as Grant Cardone talked about in that audio book that I was listening to, he says, how are you gonna put your assets to work if you don't even know what they are? So keep that in mind. Uh, and you know, we were used to sort of thinking as uh, money or a job as sort of the main thing that we do. And, and that's the way it's, we, some of us were raised. And you might still have been brought up to think that even though you really don't have a reason to if, if you're 20 years old 25 years old you know you've always been pretty much you've pretty much grown up with the internet hand in hand if you're 18 years old right 20 years old you really was never a time in your life where technology was foreign to you so information is so readily available this video uh, look at this nice background the clarity in this video how clear it's coming across you know, you've heard my resume and you know, you have access to free information like this in the world. So there's really no reason as to why someone like yourself, if you're in this younger age group, can't uh, see that you, it's about creating value for the world around you. Not so much as trying to acquire simply a monetary compensation or money or getting paid only as like your only means to survival. Because it, when you see it that way, uh, as sort of like this uh, bismal type, uh, alienated, uh, fragmented transaction, yeah, you fail to understand what it is money really is. See, the way I see it, when I get any type of payment, whether it's through supplement sales, uh, through, I actually, let's say it's supplement sales, and some, one of somebody on my team sells $100 worth of product, and I get an override of about $3. The way I see it is, they've made $40, I, through the work that I started in 2012, they're now getting a piece of that fruit and I'm just getting a little slice of the apple and they're getting a full apple. That's how I see it. And I really feel really good about it. I feel really enriched about it. Does that make sense? That's just one aspect. For example, when you're watching this video and you, you yourself can sort of say, okay, well, let me write down my columnist. So this is my professional life and here's what I've done in my professional life and here's my personal life and these are the things I've done in my personal life. You know, when you get that paper out and you write down those things and you start thinking, hmm, so what am I gonna expand? What am I gonna contribute based on these assets to the world? You know, me as a fitness and leadership coach, you may never tell me thank you, you may never even subscribe or you may not even do anything. But the truth of the matter is, in my belief system, you know, I believe that that was a beautiful moment and the karmic energy and the karmic value that I built into my life to just share this with you and with intention on this beautiful Sunday that it reaches you, that is really uh, already a win for me. I hope that makes some sense. As I said, YouTube channel is one of my wins. So just getting in front of this camera on this beautiful Sunday and sharing this with you is something that it really does make me feel good, okay? So uh, keep that in mind that in the past that was more so a thing where people felt like it was all about getting the job and getting validated. But in reality, if you're not validating yourself, you're never going to push to that next level. You know, as I wrote these things down, you know, I'm, I'm truly, I'm truly beyond blessed to have that resume. And that's me I'm looking at. I've put a lot of work and thought into that, those things. 
and I'm so blessed to have them and I'm so blessed to know that that's what I need to continue to expand. I hope that makes sense. There's really not much else for me in this world that isn't on that paper, that isn't this is what I need to expand. This is my next step. And just having that clarity of that next step is one of the keys to your growth, right? You wouldn't be able to grow if you didn't know the strategy, but knowing what you, where you've been and seeing where you want to go and having that clarity and that next step is essential. So that's very important to what to do now, okay? That's going forward. The new way of thinking is to think, well, now I know where I've been, but where am I gonna go based on where I've been? And having that clarity and establishing clarity as to your assets and what you wanna develop is the key idea, okay? So then, uh, which basically all you need to do is go ahead and get a paper. You can get, you put, I've, dri I've written this down obviously like actually about three times. This is the short version, but um, you know, you only need a big piece of paper. You put yourself in the middle, a little happy face. You can put your name in the middle and then put on the left side, put professional and start listing the bullet points. Okay, it's that simple, just like you see here. Professional, bullet points, personal bullet points, okay? That's all you gotta do, just go. You heard some of my examples, you heard some of the things I've done. I'm sure so you've, you've finished a course of some sort. I'm sure you know how to make some sort of nice dinner. I'm sure you know how to make something. I'm sure you can smile. I'm sure you know how to tell a good joke. I'm sure there's something about you that you could say, this is, this is gonna be my personal life. Or people like that I'm just a sweet person. There's something, everybody's got something. You know, we live in a world people sometimes think about committing suicide because they don't ever give themselves the pat on the back they need to develop that confidence and that self love that is so important, okay? So just that's all you have to do, all right? Now, uh, obviously, as you heard this, you could hear it's something like this, you think it's so simple, and that's why it's one of the key ideas that I built is common sense self-mastery. As a matter of fact, I might just go ahead and build, uh, write the definition of common sense self-mastery right now, as soon as I'm done with this video, and put that as one of my assets as well, because sometimes people, as easy as this is to do, as Jim Rohn says, it's easy not to. So one of the most common mistakes you're gonna have with this concept or this idea of collecting your assets is to not get the pen and paper out, and write them down. Get the pen and paper as soon as you're done. Right now, I'm about to hang, I'm about to let go. I'd love to hear you subscribe, share, get the paper out. I'll wait here. I'm gonna wait for about 10 seconds for you. Are you getting the paper? Get the pen. On the left side, put professional life. On the right side, put personal life. Get started. Love to hear your feedback, your comments. This is Jacob Adams signing off.